if you look down here you can see this is all breeze block which is relatively soft and you can get through that with a normal drill and then up here we've got brick which you possibly could be getting through as well but not here above doors and windows you'll find a lintel it's compressed concrete and it's very very tough you absolutely need the right tool for the job and I've brought with me a pneumatic drill. The reason why a pneumatic drill is so good for these sort of tough jobs is because of the motion that it creates. There's a piston inside it so while it's drilling it's almost as if someone sat behind it with a hammer smacking the drill as it's going in. It has the hammer motion here so when you're drilling you need to make sure that you're set on that motion for any lintels and hard pieces like that. Again you can see which direction you're going in you need a slightly different drill for this. These are my favorite. They're called SDS Quick Drill Bits and they're called so because they quite literally just click in and easy. Also, you can just pull the chuck back to clip it out. Um, it's got a lithium ion battery at the back here which slips out very easily, charges very quickly as well. So you're not gonna be wasting your time on the battery. The thing that's giving you the power is the actual pneumatic drill itself. That's why it's gonna get through the lintel. Then what you need to do is get the right size. The wall plug that we're using is an eight mil plug. It says that on the packet, so it tells us which drill bit to use as well. You can also just hold them up to each other if you don't know the size and see that it's the same size. I've marked out my space already, made sure it's even on both sides. Start off slow so that you just make sure you're in the right place and you're comfortable and then you just go right up to full speed. And now all you need to do is pop your wall plug in. We're just going to tuck it in nicely, tap it in with a hammer. This pneumatic drill that I used to make the hole earlier is actually going to swap settings to screw and it's going to screw in the hole as well. Do make sure you have changed the setting from hammering to screw and you're ready to go. These here have a little screw section where the screw tucks in and they just clip down to secure to the wall and we just need to leave a little space there outside of the wall so that it can clip in properly. So now the fixtures are in um, and everything's secure. Now all I've got to do is put the pole up. We can see it's all lined up and nice and then I'll take that down again to put the curtain on it. You know, I'm not a big girl, I've not got massive muscles. It's the drill that does the work for you. So with the right tools, you can do anything nice and easily. Yeah.